Hi guys, Brian the Cell Phone Guy here. Uh, today I'm going to give you a little bit of an introduction to a new phone called the Sonom XP6. This one is very much like its big brother, the XP7, except it has the physical keyboard instead of the full touch screen. Once again, uh, on the side of the phone you're going to see the power button. This is the uh, dedicated push to talk button which functions TELUS Link. This is the uh, one touch button to activate the camera. On this side we have the volume up and down. And we have the red button, which is uh, for a program called Tele or, sorry, Sonom Protect, which is not yet available, but is coming soon. On the top of the phone, we have an LED display for missed messages. Uh, it'll flash green if you've got a text or a uh, email that you've missed. We have a port here for the 3.5 millimeter uh, jack for the headset, which we recommend that you keep tightly closed. Uh, to prevent water getting in and then over here once you take these two uh, number six Torx screws out that's where the sim card lives on the bottom of the phone uh, the same magnetic connector that the xp7 has and again this is a sealed unit to protect uh, the phone from water damage on the back of the phone uh, we have a five megapixel camera and we have a very large uh, flash which also functions with the flashlight app these two screws here come out and you can add a couple of options you can add a uh, backpack battery, uh, which you can hot swap, uh, so you never have to turn the phone off if you don't want to. You can also add a barcode reader if uh, you need one of those for your work applications. On the front of the phone, we have the full uh, numeric keyboard. Um, we also have the send and end button. This is the home button, so when you push that, you'll get back to the home screen no matter where you are. This button will back you up one page at a time, and this button allows you to uh, access some features that you've been in recently that uh, you might want to close. Um, moving icons around on these phones is very similar to any other Android phone. Uh, you simply open up the icons, and then you pick the one that you want, hold it until it uh, vibrates, and then you can move it to a different page. Okay. Once again, when you're done, just push the home button and you get back to the screen. If you have an icon that you don't want, such as this clock, you simply hold it until the word remove appears, drag it up into the red and let it go and it's gone. And you'll be able to get that back uh, at any time that you want it. In the top bar here, we have the Google search bar. So there's a couple things you can do with this. If you tap on this side, this will actually bring up the, uh, the Google search page and you can just type in your... Um, whatever you want to search for or on the other side you can use this uh, little microphone icon and that allows you to speak uh, the commands that you want to perform. Uh, this phone runs Android 4.4 KitKat uh, which makes it one of the most popular softwares in the world uh, and therefore very uh, easy to operate. Uh, you're probably familiar with it already with some of the other phones that you've used um, and it's also very easy to get instructions when you just go to YouTube and type in Android KitKat uh, software. So that's basically it for the XP6. Uh, we'll be back in a little while with another uh, video on the Sonom XP5, which is the new feature phone coming at the end of September. Thanks for watching.